what it is guys it's your dino we're back again with another review so let's just get straight into it this one is for disc creatures disc creatures is basically a tribute to classic monster catching rpgs from the golden days of portable gaming that's right you guessed it basically pokemon so you get to choose your free start creatures and set off as a licensed disc ranger a discar to tame the greatest creatures greatest of creatures and bring peace to the land this creatures is set in a world where humans live alongside a wild wildly varied cast of creatures all with different personalities abilities and moral codes travel across a quaint quirky landscape taming creatures and helping those in need the mysteries fill the land with this creatures and some of the are darker and more formidable than one might expect this is a monster collecting rpg by the classics and handcrafted with a precise attention to detail and respect to elements that built up the entire genre with 200 creatures to collect and command in battle a huge cast of charming characters each creature has a unique skill tree containing moves that can be unlocked through growth and items with 20 plus hours of gameplay and a heartwarming chiptune soundtrack perfect for a trip down memory lane lovingly designed by a single japanese indie creator by the name of sato this game was released under the publisher dangan entertainment and is available only for pc sadly but i'm sure with the steam deck coming out you can play it on that perfectly fine so this is something that i would definitely say is aimed at anyone who played any of the old school pokemon games and if you can go into this with an open mind you'll have a lot of fun because i enjoyed it okay i laughed my head off it made me it made me think oh my god this is such a ripoff but then once i got into it and started playing i was like no this isn't really a ripoff this is them paying a homage to a genre that they love and something that was part of our history as 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 gamers because who doesn't remember the original pokemon red and blue and all that stuff because those games basically set the tone for an entire genre of games and they still hold up to this day i mean they may not be as as well thought out in their character designs as as other games but this guy sato has really cranked it up to be the best that they can create and it the soundtrack really does do well and it does make you feel like you're playing something on a handheld and taking you all the way back to yesteryear it's very very good it is something that i would definitely recommend to pokemon fans old school fans people who like catching monsters rpgs and stuff like that so if you're a fan of digimon or pokemon this is definitely something that i think that you might enjoy as always guys don't forget to dino smash that like button it's always greatly appreciated and leave a comment if you think there's something where i can improve on the video or if you have a difference of opinion it's greatly appreciated as always this is definitely something that I wasn't expecting when I jumped into playing this game. Now, I will be fast forwarding into the actual combat of the area and stuff like that and how that plays in a moment. So you guys can see that and experience it. But the game has done very, very well and they've created something very interesting. I can see where they've used like a structuring system that was indicative of the original Pokemon games. But the fact that they give you three Pokemon at the start is just, well, not Pokemon, Discmon, is, is very cool. And I feel like they've done a really good job with, with creating a game that, whilst is inspired by Pokemon and the Digimon universes and stuff like that, it is very much its own universe in its own right. And I feel like they've done a really good job with creating something that stands on its own yet is it shows that it's proud that it's inspired by something that came before it if you are willing to give it a go i definitely recommend it it is on steam and it's about 15 pound or 20 dollars or something like that but it's worth it i feel like the the 
price per value that you'll get of enjoyment of playing this is definitely up there you won't feel disappointed when you play this after 20 plus hours and then collecting all of the different disc monsters you'll have a lot of fun and i feel like this is definitely something that is something that the 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 content creator will enjoy they will probably get a kick out of feeling the nostalgia and stuff like that it's definitely got me feeling nostalgic after playing it and i feel that they've done a really good job of taking something that a lot of people grew up with and just making it their own but that's just my opinion though guys i i feel that that is something that that definitely is apparent in this and the people that i would recommend this to is pokemon fans digimon fans nostalgic players or, or retro gamers this is definitely a trip down memory lane for a lot of people this is definitely something that i would recommend to content creators who like to play the pokemon universe and stuff like that who are waiting for the new one to drop scarlet and violet this is definitely something that you could play and get your community involved with and get them to name themselves as the, the different disc creatures and stuff like that and get involved with that aspect of it that's just my opinion and i always try and share my opinions on where i would recommend it and as always i don't tell you whether you should buy a game or not I just say this is the facts and here you are so you guys can make your own decisions and share those decisions with me i'd love to know what you guys think if this review has helped you decide whether you wanted to buy the game or not because i feel like this game is very much something that could be a little cult classic and could, could be something that could garter a lot of traffic or content creation views on platforms like youtube and twitch where you, you could catch me on youtube where i stream six days a week as well and you guys could probably enjoy stuff like this and old school games and new new games and stuff like that we're currently playing the new um destroy all humans 2 reprobed so you guys can come and check that out with us if you would like to you can always find us there links to everything is down below so you can check those out but this is my opinion, guys. I feel like this is definitely something that will hit several different spots for people. And that it can really charm the pants off of people because it's very, very charming. It's very well made. And that's my opinion. If you guys have a difference of opinion, let me know what you think. Sound off in the comments. Like it if you like it. Dislike it if you don't like it. Share it out on social media if you want to recommend it to a friend. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Links to all the stuff is down below. And if you want to get your, your Grim on, the playlists are all down there as well for you. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.